Tonight is the night, and everyone is just about ready to go. I can't get this feeling of foreboding off of my chest. Everyone is gathered close to the door, ready to see us off. Everyone except... Princess. Rumpel suddenly appears, a niece coming up to stand right next to him. What are you two doing here? Well, of course, we came to wish you good luck. It's just like everyone else here. We'll be waiting for your for you tonight so we can celebrate everyone's return. Thanks, Kermit. <laughs> You're right. Uh, oops. Oopsie. Be careful. <laughs> Emmeline, who has been everywhere with her brother since they came here, is standing right beside him now with a smile. I'll pray for your safe return. <laughs> Her smile wavers, and I can tell she is uncertain. Not gonna pray. I don't believe in God. <laughs> she, she has she has great knights of cauldron, uh, two witches and a prince. She'll be fine. Rod's responses are curt as usual, but I cannot help but notice the hesitance in his voice. Even though he stares at me without expression, I think I can see a tinge of worry in his eyes. Rest assured that we will keep this princess safe. We're not going to let Alcaster get away with what he did to Angel and his royal family. Parfait steps forward last. She and Dolores glance at each other, and I feel as if some secret message bounces between the two of them. Delora nods ever so slightly before Parfait turns to the rest of us. Her eyes eventually fall on me. You've changed since you've been here, Princess, but your dedication and resolve never wavers. It has always been there, just beneath the surface. Stubbornness or resolve? It is as if Parfait is able to read my thoughts. She smiles as she sets a hand on my shoulder. Your dedication is very much like King Gennaro's. You are proud and honorable, and always take steps in the right direction. That is why I know you'll be back tonight. Just as Rumpel said, we'll be waiting for you, all of you. Stay safe tonight. I nod my head as everyone gathered around begins to repeat their hearty goodbyes. It is Dolora who walks away first. We all follow behind. The night has just begun. Do, do, do. Our way to the palace gates is uneventful, but we pause some distance away from them to take shelter in a nearby alley. There are knights everywhere. Waltz points to what looks like a regular section of the wall. There's a hidden door to the tunnels. There's the hidden door to the tunnels. If we <laughs> time it right between the night's patrols, we should be able to make it. Not my signal. Claude puts a hand on my shoulder and squeezes. It is an abrupt gesture and it doesn't last long, but the motion calms my nerves somewhat. We will be fine. Ooh. Scary. New locations. Our footsteps echo in the tunnel. Standing in front of me are Jurian and Garland who are flanking walls. Dolores stands beside me and Claude is at my back. The small tunnel makes it seem like we brought a lot of people. This way. We silently follow Waltz's instructions. How is it that Waltz knows about these tunnels? I've already taken into account the guards and where they might be positioned based on Prince Rod's information. We should all be all right. Garland and I will act as distractions if needed. Princess, leave most of the fighting to us if there's any to be done. I know. I will only fight if I need to. If 
only I wasn't cursed, I'd be able to fight to my full extent. I think you're still quite capable without all your magic. Without all your magic, puppeteer. Mm. Oh, a compliment? It's an honor. <laughs> Miss Karma. I'm only in this dress because of Jurian, you know. Jurian crosses her arms and cocks an eyebrow at Claude. I wouldn't fall in love with you, no matter what you say. What? Oh, because of the curse. Hey, that's his yeah, curse. <laughs> my bad, gotcha, gotcha. That's what they all say. We're here. Suddenly. Suddenly. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, no. no. I'm sorry. Please continue. <laughs> I got excited. Suddenly, everyone goes quiet, including Brandon. I'm sorry. I feel a lot heavier as I stare at the staircase in front of me. This should lead to the throne room. I did not know we had a secret passage in the throne room. How much does Walt know about the palace? Immediately after we step into the throne room, we split apart to avoid the guard's gaze. I stick close to Claude and Walt as Dolores conjures a blanket of shimmering fog that envelops the guards and their eyeballs. <laughs> Ooh! Dooly, 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 dooly. <laughs> I watch as the guards' eyes close before they slump to the ground. Dolores drops her hands once all the guards are truly asleep. It's amazing how intolerant humans are to magic. Oh, I did the wrong voice, didn't I? Well, let's keep going. <laughs> You're Getting through the palace is no easy feat. Hallways that were easy to get through before are difficult to traverse now with all of the soldiers standing around. Dolores casts a spell to silence our footsteps into quiet muffles, but moving is still difficult, especially with such a group. Eventually, we arrive just outside the tunnels that should lead to the castle's prison. I'll stand watch. Be careful, Waltz. I will.